we finally gotten our hands on some new information on the upcoming Mirai Fury. We're going to go straight into what we found not only through the reveal on Inside Star Citizen, the little snippet that they gave at the end there, but also what they're finding in the leaks thanks to the Pipeline Discord channel as well. Before we get started, I'd like to give a shout out to our newest channel member, Bergier Balderson. Thank you for your support. I really appreciate it. Let's move on. So the Marai Furry, this is a new manufacturer um, branching off of uh, MISC and it's going to be their brand that's going to be more focused on, I believe, uh, fighters and racing. So combat ships and maybe racing ships as well. They moved the um, Razor from MISC over to Marai. Um, to better represent what they want to do. But what we're talking about here is the Mirai Fury. So now it seems like based on what they found in the leaks it's itself, there's going to be two variants. It's going to be a snub fighter and then there's going to be the snub bomber. So let's go over the snub fighter first. It says featuring best in class maneuverability and fully integrated cutting edge Xi'an tech. The next generation Fury snub fighter from Mirai uses its four halo mounted size four laser repeaters to redefine short range combat size four laser repeaters is that a mistake maybe this is maybe this is incorrect maybe it's not size four but maybe it is if it's size four that's insane um so some of the stats they also revealed uh through the leaks which kind of contradicts what it says in the description here it says it comes with four size two guns four size two missiles one size one power plant one size one shield and two size one coolers no quantum drive or quantum fuel tank found all right so now that's interesting so first and foremost if it does indeed have four size four lasers that's insane amount of firepower for a ship of its size being a snow fighter that's insane but I believe it's more realistic to believe that it's actually four size two. So uh, let's uh, let's let's see what 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 uh, um, when, once it's finally released, let's see what they say, what they actually reveal on um, when Invictus is launched. It says here, um, based on the leaks, this in terms of sizing, it's similar to the RSI Links. For those that don't know what the RSI Links is, it's a similar size to the Ursa Rover that's currently in game right now. It seems like it's also small enough to fit in the uh, cargo pods of the Drake Caterpillar. So you can have one in each pod. That is insane. Just imagine, just imagine having an entire fleet in one big ship. So I wonder what other ships it could actually fit. I assume it could fit in the Carrick. I assume it can fit in some other smaller ships. Probably even the MSR probably could fit in there. But I'm sure the community is going to be testing this out. Before we move forward, I'd like the new people to know that we're doing a giveaway for the month of May. This time is a game package for the 100i. In order to participate, all you gotta do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between the month of May. Up next is the Fury MX. So that's Mirai Fury MX, which is going to be the snub bomber. I think this is gonna be the first uh um snub craft that's classified as a bomber it says featuring best in class with really and fully integrated cutting edge Xi'an tech the next generation fury mx snub bomber from marai uses its 20 halo mounted missiles to devastate targets during short range space combat 20 that is insane oh my goodness 20 missiles I wonder what sizes those are. That would be interesting to see. That's a lot of firepower, man. That's interesting. That's interesting. That's interesting. Based on what they revealed on Inside Star Citizen, the ship looks pretty cool. Um, from my perspective, I think it's a it's a really cool looking ship. When we look at uh, based on face value, what it looks like, the weaponry and everything, I think this is probably going to cost you around... Um, I can see it costing you around man maybe a hundred dollars because now i have to consider the um the fact that it doesn't have a q drive right 
initially i was thinking maybe 120 to 150 but uh, the fact that it doesn't have a q drive the, the value may drop a little bit so i'm thinking this is probably going to hover around 100 dollars um if you want to buy it with an lti on invictus right you guys let me know your thoughts on this down below